folks, welcome to Vector Calculus. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what 3D quadratic surface we got up next. So, here it is. Z is equal to x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. First thing you want to do, let's put this guy over here. Let's draw the x, y, and z axes. Alright, so here's my z, here's my y, and here's my x. Alright, so keeping things simple, x, y, z. And let's rewrite our equation, right? So we got x squared, or rather z, is equal to x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. Alright, good. Now, I want to find the cross section on the x, y plane. What do I have to do? Well, I'm going to set my z, my z variable to 0. So take the z term, pop it out, and what am I left with? Well, if I assume a and b are 1, I'm left with 0 is equal to x squared plus y squared. And of course, that's just a point. Okay, let's see if the other planes tell us something. How about the xz plane? Well, remember the xz plane, if you want to find the cross section there, what we got to do is set the y variable, fix the y variable to 0. Let's see what that gets us. Well, take this term, pop it out. What do we have left? z is equal to x squared. And what do you know? That is a parabola. So go to the xz plane and just sketch out a parabola. What is the xz plane? There it is. Uh, am I even able to do it? I think so. I think so. Right there. There's, uh, there's my parabola. Or my attempt at a parabola. I should rather say. And finally, come over to the yz plane. And to find the cross section there, I'm just going to fix the x variable, set it to 0, take this term, pop it out. I'm left with z is equal to y squared. And so what is that? What is that? z is equal to y squared. We'll come over to the yz plane, and you can draw another parabola like this. And uh, if you think about this, if we vary this constant here, We'll end up with a bunch of circles throughout and so this is just well what is it we got two parabolas the cross section on the xz is a parabola cross section on the yz is a parabola cross section on the xy is a circle or an ellipse if you want to be general so what we're left with is simply an elliptic paraboloid and uh, that's that's all there is to it an elliptic paraboloid. Isn't that neat? Ian Bessin plus MKO plus scaffolding equals learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. The first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.